Neil Young. His full name is Neil Percival Young. He was born on November 12th, 1945. He is a Canadian-American singer, songwriter, musician, and activist. In 2000, Rolling Stone named Young the 34th greatest rock and roll artist of all time. His guitar work, deeply personal lyrics, and signature tenor singing voice define his long career. His zodiac sign is Scorpio. His height is 1.82 meters, and his weight is 75 kilograms. Young is a pantheist who seems to genuinely respect all faiths. He was born in Toronto, Canada. If you're enjoying these videos, please remember to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. And comment down below which celebrity you want to see in an upcoming video. Early Life Neil Percival Young was born on November 12th, 1945, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, to Scott Alexander Young, a sports journalist, and Edna Blow Ragland Young. He has an elder brother named Robert Young. At the age of 10, he was attracted to music genres, such as rock and roll, country, and western pop. He was influenced by a number of musical bands, and began playing ukulele. This was his first step towards becoming a musician. When he was 12, his mother filed for divorce, and after the divorce, he went to live with his mother at Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. In 1963, while studying at Kelvin High School, he formed his first stable band, The Squires, with Ken Koblen, Jeff Wuckers, and Bill Edmondson. He left school and started performing at Fort William with his band. While performing at Fort William, he met Stephen Stills, a member of a folk rock band, with whom he would later collaborate. Career In the mid-1960s, he left his band The Squires and continued to work in folk clubs where he met Joni Mitchell, a musician and songwriter. At the same time, he recorded his first hit song, Flying on the Ground is Wrong, along with a Winnipeg band named The Guess Who. In 1966, he joined a band named The Minor Birds, which was led by singer Rick James. Subsequently, the band sealed a deal with the Motown label. When Rick was arrested, The Minor Birds disbanded. Young then went to Los Angeles to find work, along with the band's bass player Bruce Palmer. In Los Angeles, they met Stephen Stills and formed a band called Buffalo Springfield. The band included guitarist Richie Furey and drummer Dewey Martin. They released their first album, Buffalo Springfield, in 1966, which was a commercial success. The band released two more albums before splitting up in 1968. In late 1969, he reunited with Stephen Stills and became part of a band called CSNNY. The band won the Best New Artist Grammy Award in 1969. Even though Young left the band in the early 1970s, the band continued to perform with the remaining three members and reunited several times with him for the recording albums. The band continued to perform with the remaining three members and reunited several times with him for recording albums. Over the years, he has released many successful albums, such as On the Beach, Long May You Run, Rust Never Sleeps, Trans, American Dreams, Freedom, and Greendale. Under the pseudonym Bernard Shakey, he directed and co-directed several films, such as Journey Through the Past, Human Highway, and CSNY Deja Vu in 2008. He has also acted in various documentaries and concert films. Relationships He is currently married to Daryl Hannah. Beforehand, in 1970 and 1975, he dated American actress Carrie Snodgrass. They had a son named Zeke Young. He then started going out with singer Peggy Young in 1976, and they married in August of 1978. They had two children, a son named Ben Young, and a daughter named Amber Jean Young. Lifestyle His net worth currently sits at $65 million. He used to own a home in Topeka Canyon, now worth $1.45 million. Fun Facts He is an environmentalist. On The Tonight Show, Neil Young once performed a live duet with himself. Neil is an avid fan of stand-up paddleboarding. Young has never allowed his songs to be used in commercials.